guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am getting ready for the Scottish BAFTAs because I was nominated for best YouTuber in the world. That is a complete lie. I was invited by Mac Cosmetics. They invited me and Jack to go to the Scottish BAFTAs. I'm really excited. Yeah, I basically needed to get ready. I did not do my hair, but my hair is v cute. I went to Mezart this morning. Jack Baxter did my hair. He is my hairdresser. Other than that, all I had to do was really do my makeup and then I'm gonna stick my dress on when we get to our hotel. So if you would like to see how I created this full makeup look then please keep watching hello right i need to move my fringe out the road but i don't know how to do that without damaging my hair Ugh. maybe i'll just tuck it behind my ears so the first thing i'm going to do is my skincare as pet always and i'm going to take my cypress antioxidant dew drops this is really nearly finished and i'm just going to take a little bit in my hand and we're just going to push that into the skin my hands are freezing so now we're all prepped. Then I'm going to take my Neode Photography Fluid in opacity 12%. I still don't really know what that means, but I'm going to take some of that. And this is the stuff that I went crazy for. It gives you the most lovely glow to the skin. It looks unreal in photos as well, which is obviously important for me tonight. So I'm just going to put that on all over my face. It does look quite bright, but as soon as you start kind of massaging that into the skin, it just settles in and it gives you a really nice glow. I've got a couple of little blemishes in my head that I really need to get rid of ASAP. Next thing I'm going to do is take my Kiehl's Daily Revive and Concentrate. I just got a new one of these. Very exciting. And I'm going to take one, two, three, four, five, five drops of that. Again, rub it into my hands and then pat that on top. I want my skin to look super glowy and beautiful. Next I'm going to take my Huda Beauty Complexion Perfection Primer. This stuff is super thick and pretty matte as well, which is actually what I need. I think this is what makes the foundation so matte because the foundation I'm going to use today is the Huda Beauty. I absolutely love it. I tweeted saying that there's a good chance that I'll use this stuff on my wedding day because it just looks flawless. It wears so nicely. I can really imagine it wearing really nicely in the heat as well on my skin. It just seems to go on like an absolute dream. The only thing I would say is it's the primer underneath it that makes it really matte. So I'm going to just apply this to my kind of more center areas because I put the foundation on by itself without, without the primer and it wasn't as matte. It wore a little bit more dewy, which I like still, but for an event, I kind of do want to have that bit, that little bit more matte. I don't want to look shiny in any photos. So now my skin's all prepped. I'm going to go in with my Huda Beauty foundation in the shade Dries Ledges, 320G. And I'm going to take one pump of that first and I'm actually going to apply it with this Tarte brush. This is part of the Tarte holiday collection and I bloody love it. It's really nice and like domed but you'll see this foundation go on. It's just like bloody the best thing ever. I have not done makeup for an actual event in absolutely ages but I'm really excited. So I'm just applying this like usual. Another reason I like this foundation is because it does photograph really beautifully. Obviously because I'm going to an event I'm going to make sure that this matches my neck, bring it right down. And another reason I like this foundation obviously is because the coverage on it is really great. It's going to cover up any of my red marks on my head. I've had a wee bit of breaking out recently on my forehead because I'm a lady. Make sure it's blended into your hairline. So lately I've been doing my foundation, actually for the last ages I've been doing my foundation first when I'm actually going out. I just like it, it gives me more of an idea of what I want to do with my face. I'm going to zoom in just a wee bit. Okay, I'm going to start concealing under my eyes because I'm looking pretty tired today. So I'm just using the shape tape underneath my eyes and then I'm going to go up just so it's on the centre of my forehead. I've got a couple of little blemishes up here, so I'm just going to cover them up as well. And then I'm going to go on my lid, because I'm going to use this as a base, my eyeshadow. And then I'm going to blend that in. There we go. I was looking hella tired. All you guys made fun of me for this sponge and said it looked like a butt plug. That's so not PG, you guys. Okay, so next I'm gonna powder my eyes. I recently just got this blotting powder in the shade Light from Kat Von D and I really like it. So I'm gonna use this to mattify it underneath my eyes. And then on top of my lid as well because that's where we're gonna be doing our eyeshadow. And then I'm just gonna go and push it into my smile lines. 
in my chin as well. Obviously this foundation is a little bit more matte so we're getting less shine off my face in general which is good. And then we'll just do the centre of the forehead. Okay, so to bronze my face up, I'm going to use my MAC Give Me Sun Bronzer and my Morphe M402, the big fluffy one. And I'm just going to gently start to warm up my whole face. And I'm going to try and be careful because I know I go ham with the bronzer and I really don't want that to show up on any cameras today. I will be mortified. So I'm going to lighter with the bronzer, I'm just kind of doing a general warm up of the skin. I want to look sun-kissed but not super sculpted. I need to really bronze up my neck. Now the blush I'm going to use is MAC Swiss Chocolate. This looks super dark but when you use just a little bit with a kind of more concentrated brush it gives a really nice kind of contour blush so I'm going to do that next. It's a really nice autumn blush this. And then I'm just going to go over that with the bronzer, make sure it ties in. I know I said I'm going to be careful with the contour, but it doesn't mean I'm not going to contour, if you know what I mean. So I've got this little Tarteus To Go palette, and inside it's got two highlighters and a contour. This contour shade's amazing. So I'm going to use that with my Smith 118 brush, and I'm just going to get the contour just right at the back, and then just down the sides of my nose as well. I'm going to make sure that that's super blended out, I don't want any crazy lines. If you feel like you've gone a little bit too far down with your bronzer, you just get a little bit of powder and you can just tidy it up like that. Now I'm going to add my highlight just to see where we're at with the skin. And I'm going to take my 134 brush from Zoeva and my Laura Geller Gilded Honey. I really like this stuff, I've been using it at a time. And we're just going to highlight, now I'm being careful with this as well because there might be flash photography, I'm going to just place the highlight right on the cheekbone, nothing too close to the centre of my face. And then I love to do it above the brow because my base is so matte, I need to add a little bit of glowiness to my skin. So I'm just highlighting above the arch of my brow. That's why I kind of like doing my brows last these days because I do put highlighter through them almost. And now I'm going to highlight my nose the bridge of my nose as well, make sure you don't go too chunky with that and then keep it low and then while I'm at it I'm just going to highlight my brow bone to meet with my cheekbones just so it's kind of like that C shape we're looking okay. I'm going to do my eyes now and the palette I'm going to use is the Morphe 15D. I absolutely flipping love this. I think I've used it in a video already, I'm not sure but I'm going to zoom you in. Whee! I'm not going too crazy at all, I'm keeping it pretty natural so I'm actually going to start off with this shade here in the palette called Natural and we're going to build up the crease. And I'm just using my Morphe E27 brush which I really like, it's super fluffy and because my base is all nice and mattified down it's just going on like a dream. Building that up, same colour over and over until we start to get this nice blend. I'm bringing the shadow up pretty high. I'm just keeping it quite soft colour wise because I don't want to be too overwhelming tonight. I want my eyes, I want to just look, you know, like pretty tonight, okay? Now I'm going to go in with the shade Editor, which is just in the middle. It's a slightly darker, warmer brown and we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to go in the crease. And basically what I'm going for tonight is I just want to give the illusion of bigger eyes, more defined eyes, but nothing too dark and too crazy. That's my favourite kind of red carpet look, is just when it's soft but defined. Oh dude, I cannot believe I'm going to be a red carpet. I'm excited but I'm bloody nervous. What if I fall over? I can almost guarantee if anyone falls tonight it's going to be me. Okay, and then if you need to remember and you can go back in with your bigger fluffier brush and just buff that out. We just want everything to be super soft, but really, really well blended. Now I'm going to go in with the darkest shades I'm going to use, which is Define, which is just here, and then I'm going to go in with a little bit of Epic, which is more of a kind of brown, the other one's more of a kind of like light, kind of warm tan, the other one's more of a deeper brown. But we're going to go in with Define, the first colour I showed you, and we're going to start adding the dark definition. Define, oh my god, they really picked these colours appropriately. And I'm bringing that into the inner corner a little bit just to get that smokiness. You know I like. Back in with my fluffier brush and the transition shade colour. We're just going to buff that out as well. Okay, I think it's time to go underneath our eyeballs. So I'm going to go in with the shade Define. Yeah. And I'm going to blend that underneath my eyes. 
Okay, I got a little bit of fallout there, but because my skin's really matte, I can just brush that away. And then now I'm going to get that colour defined and I'm going to just place it on the outer corner just so it's more of a, a soft smoky eye, like you can see the difference in adding that darkness here it just stops your eyes looking unfinished and then back into our fluffier brush in the transition shade and we're just going to buff that onto the lid now I'm just kind of taking my time to build up each eye individually make sure I'm getting the depth that I want and then always going in and then blending it right back out again with my fluffy Morphe brush I'm just slightly darkening the outer corner what I'm going to do now is I'm going to apply my lashes and mascara and see how we're looking because this is quite a light brown smoky eye I think the lashes are going to make a big difference the lashes I'm going to use are Lily Lashes in the Style Can they're super soft and fluffy they're definitely one of my favourite styles of lash I'm going to take these out and glue them up for mascara, I'm going to use the Tarte Gifted Mascara. I've been using this a lot recently. It's really, really good. I know I say that about a lot of mascaras, but I always mean it. I love mascaras. So I'm going to chuck that on. And then with this look, I really want chunky bottom lashes. See, already that to me is much better with mascara on. Like I like that, much more natch than my usual, but I feel, I feel more pretty. For eyebrows, again, I'm not doing too dramatic today. I'm going to use my Iconic London Brow Cushion in the shade Medium, so it's a little bit lighter. And I'm just going to use it to literally make my brows look a bit bigger, but I'm not going to totally fill them in chunky or anything like that. So I'm just going to use my Anastasia number 14 brush and the light side from the Medium Brow Cushion. And I'm going to... Fill in the front a little bit. So you can see that just looks much more defined without much product. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the arch of my brow. And I'm just going to define the arch a little bit too. I'm happy with those. Now I'm going to go through my brows with the Glossier Boy Brow. So I'm really excited about this product. I bloody love it. I've not talked about it before and I don't know why, but I really, really like it. So I'm just going to go through my brows with this and this just makes your hairs look super chunky. It adds a little bit of a tint to your brows as well, but what I love about it is the really small brush. I can get right in at the front and I'm going to make the front of my brows stand up. And the only thing I would say is you need to make sure that your brows are nice and trimmed and also make sure you get rid of the excess product through the length of the brow before you go in to the front because you do get quite a lot of product on the actual brush. And there we have a brow. Wow. So we're looking a little bit more human and we're going to do lips next. So the lip combo I'm going to use, I used to wear this every day, every single day. When I worked on counter and when I worked as a freelance makeup artist, I would wear MAC Spice and MAC Honey Love every day of my life. So I'm really excited I'm going to do this little combo again. So first we're going to line our lips. Okay, we are lined. And then I'm going to use Honey Love on top. And now to add on my little freckle, I'm going to use my little Marc Jacobs liquid liner and then a pencil, a brow pencil from the brow bar just to make it a little bit more brown and not black. So I just apply the black first and then go on top with this brown. This is really annoying. I'm going to change my lipstick. It's too pink. I'm just going to blot that down. I'm going to use MAC Yash instead. And then I'm just adding a little bit more of that darker brown eyeshadow just to make sure we're all blended. So this is a close-up of the makeup. It's just super flawless skin. Love that foundation, honestly. I'm a woman obsessed. And then a really kind of soft glam eye and then my usual nude lip, but using an old fave. Honestly, Honey Love is beautiful, but I decided to go for a yash on this occasion just because it's a little bit more brownie-based nude. And that's just, that's just how I was feeling today. 
do you like it? So you guys, that is the finished look. I hope you liked it. And now all I have to do is put my dress on. If you wanted to see what my dress is like, then you can check out my Instagram. I'm sure by the time that this video has gone up, the BAFTAs will well and truly be over and I'll have loads of pictures on my Instagram of what I ended up looking like as a, as a whole kind of ensemble. Please do let me know down below what you would like to see from me next and other than that, I will see you in the next video. Bye!